Welcome back to the Neighbors Pod. I'm Kiz. And I'm Mary. I'm Kill. Your favorite monthly segment is back, okay? And we are diving into our October ins and outs. Let's get right into it. My first in for October is fall fun and carving pumpkins. So many people are just painting pumpkins these days, and I don't think that's very fun. Fair. I used to love carving pumpkins with my dad, so I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Wait, you're saying carving over painting? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't carved carved real. But I feel like painting became more popular because it's easier to do as a girl's night. Girls are strong. Girls can use knives. (laughs) I don't know about you, but I could not yes, do that. You, you totally could. It's like hard. I'm gonna overshoot it and mess up my design and be so sad. Be more patient. <sighs> I'm lessons. thinking about that pumpkin last year that it rained, right? And it just like well, deteriorated. Last right? year I carved my pumpkin at the end of September, which was not a good idea in hindsight. You have to wait till mid October because it's still 90 degrees where we live. <laughs> That, so that's why it died. It died very quickly. It died way before Halloween even came that out. That was lives. funny. Yeah. But fall fun. You could go sit in the park with some leaves. You could go to a brewery. You could drink some apple cider with the girls, have a bonfire. There's so many things you could do mm-hmm. that a lot of people, like, I don't know. I'm never out in the fall, even though I love the, how it looks. Yeah, that's so, so I true. should be out more. Because of all the fall things, fall has been growing on me the more adult i become yeah my first in should i be saying my first in yeah yeah okay <laughs> anyway <laughs> it's a combo pickleback shots and combos at the dive bar and i say this because pickleback shots yeah you ever had what? that no what is, that? no <laughs> it's pickle juice mm. you take a little sip of the pickle juice and then a shot of jameson and then you follow it with the rest of the pickle juice oh it's nasty, but really good. Like, it's like a good nasty, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's gross, but it's... If you like pickle juice, it's good. I don't I like do pickles. I do like pickle juice. I don't like so. pickles. I don't like pickle juice. You will not catch me doing that. <laughs> I would it was try good. it. And I've combined that with combos at the dive bar because there's really creatures there. And I think <laughs> it's like, it leaves good opportunity to have some weird conversations. And true. I went to a dive bar... Only once, and it was quite the experience. Anyways, my first in is The Secret Lives of Mormon Wives. My two favorites, if I had to pick just two, (laughs) were definitely Jess and Demi. They were just keeping it so 100% real. I wouldn't have even thought that they were Mormon just based on, like, who they are as a person. Like, their religion doesn't define who they are, and I really like that. Because I've definitely just always, from what I've heard about Mormons, especially in Utah, there was definitely a preconceived notion, and they just completely shattered that. I was like, whoa. How many episodes? Only eight, I I think. I keep hearing people talk about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now they're going on podcasts and whatnot, so I've been watching the podcasts. My next in is fall bouquets, and I don't think you know what I mean when I say this. I've been seeing these TikToks of these bouquets where it's like, in a vase obviously but it's these mauve crimson maroon looking flowers that hang and are so full it looks like a forest of just pinks and velvets and it's so cool i have no idea what type of flower they're using but it's so beautiful okay my next one is concerts and comedians and i say this because i think winter time there's so many concerts going on And I was just saying, my sister, I haven't seen a comedian in so long. I've never seen a comedian live. Really? Really. Oh. I, Alec and I are like fans of Matt Reif. And I tried so hard to get him or to get us tickets as Mm -hmm. a like gift for him when he was dropping dates. But they sell out too goddamn fast. Yeah. I have pretty good luck at getting tickets. These tickets though, cannot get my hands on. It's it's actually wild. Mm. We'll just have to find someone lower or even... You know when you go in the city and they have those yeah, comedy places? Yeah, you just gotta places? walk into a comedy club. Yeah. It'll still be hilarious. You'll have I'm your just, time. I'm yeah. just not in the city like that. <laughs> January, we could go. <laughs> <But>. <laughs> My next in is Heatless Curls. They are back, baby. 
I love them. If you're watching this on YouTube right now, my hair all done by Heatless Curls. Mm. Not sponsored, but in love. My next in for October is real costumes. As we sit here in what I would call a fake costume. <laughs> I think real costumes are like literally the ones you buy from a bag and it's the exact detail of whatever you want. Like we were just watching Halloween Town 2 and the guy was a frog. He had a huge belly. He, he was just a man in a frog costume. <laughs> I think people are not committing to the bit anymore. Yeah. And you don't always have to look cool. I think there's a fun... Like, Halloween, you're supposed to dress up. And I think the fun of it as a kid was getting a full mm -hmm. costume. I think the shift happens when you go to college and... Because you're not going to pull up to a college Halloween party in a bag costume. You're just not. But it doesn't have to be she's, bad. She's saying your costumes are bad. Like, no, no, I'm not saying I'm that. I'm kidding. No, but I know what you mean. Like, in college, people want to be wearing, usually, I feel like, more revealing things. But there's real costumes that are revealing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to think of an example. When you used to go in the store. Well, so... The like one a sexy in my vampire. Head, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like, sure. Army girl, sure. But I was just watching the movie Trick or Treat, and in one part of the movie, there's these college-age girls, and they all have, like, their princess real costumes, and they're just corseted. Like, they're just elevated for their age, but it's still a real costume. I would totally now, do that. Now, princesses is, like, a tutu and a tank top. Yes. It's not the same. No. It's definitely not. I want real costumes this year, as we just did a whole episode last week. <laughs> fake costumes but you can choose yeah well no some of them you can like go buy the things yeah but some of them you could also do yourself if you wanted yeah i just there's nothing like a fully real costume <laughs> i went to <laughs> spirit halloween i think the day before halloween last year not even for myself it was just with my friend and it was first of all chaos but just there really is a trillion different options so there's I guess so you, many you could find yeah. something. Mm. Next one in for me is midday sunshine breaks Ooh. and getting on top of your vitamin D because now it's that time of year. You could have slacked like me in the summer and stopped taking it, but you got to do it if you want. Do you guys take vitamin D? Mm -mm. No. My mom does. I should this year. It's good. I mean, I think uh, we'll see. It's supposed to be good for your... Yeah mood and you stuff. You can't like have too much of it though. Yeah. I, I was deficient. Get your blood done. <laughs> True. We are not doctors. <laughs> yeah. Always consult your doctor before <laughs> yeah. you do anything. It's likely that you're deficient that it's not it's not 100%. True. My next in is glycolic acid on your scalp before you shower. And what I mean by that is specifically I use the little solution from The Ordinary because the little tip nozzle is so convenient to just run through your hair. Mm. Put that in my hair. I let it sit for like an hour before I take my shower. If I'm like on day five hair, if it's like day three, day four, I'll just leave it in for like 20, 30 minutes and then hop in. But oh my God, the cleanliness that I feel after I do that the way that my oil doesn't build back up like faster it just feels like it makes my hair last longer and be cleaner for longer and it's probably just because my scalp is getting a more thorough clean like let's be honest it's just gonna it's just giving it all that funk but oh my god has this changed my life vanilla swirl on tiktok was the one that put me on this trend or like hack whatever you want to call it tip it's genuinely changed my life. I've done it three times already, and I am so obsessed. Does it tingle? Mm. No. At mm. least for me, it doesn't. Like, I'm sure we each have different sensitivity and scalp concerns and whatnot. My next in is bangs. I really want to cut bangs. Do I don't it. know what... I don't know if I want the full forehead bangs or, like, a side bang. I feel like in the 2010s, I always had side bangs, and they were so fun. You did. Just do it. Yeah. I really want to get bangs, but that would require booking a haircut appointment, and I've been putting that off for months. If you go for, like, something subtle that you can kind of push to the side... Yeah. You could do curtain bangs. Yeah. I think it's so fun. I feel like when you do that, it just makes your hair look nice without even trying. Yeah. 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 That's where I'm at. Not the bang. What's that video? <laughs> the bang. You know what I'm talking I, about? I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next in is apple cider donuts. Yum. 
I have those on my Major wants. yum. Oh, really? Controversial. Oh, fall festivities. I will go to the <laughs> shop selling apple cider donuts, but I had They're one so the other day good. and I didn't like the taste of it. For, here's my thing, and I don't want to yuck your yum. For example, when you go to Stu Leonard's and you smell the apple cider donuts, mm-hmm. they never taste as good as they smell. They do always smell really good. Second, they smell like they should taste more like pumpkin. I would rather eat a pumpkin donut than an apple donut. I suppose. No, actually, no, because I think I like apple more than pumpkin. I just don't like apple baked into mm. anything. Aren't you allergic to apples? I am. But I was thinking, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking. <laughs> Wait, I was So just- there's a little bit of bias here on sensing. <laughs> <laughs> can you eat it? Yes, I can eat, eat a donut. I had an apple cider donut. I'm alive. I'm standing. I can't have them raw. Yeah, yeah. I was just telling somebody about that. How you're allergic? Because I said somebody I know is allergic to apples, and then it hit me. It's My me. mom makes apple cider donuts from scratch. So when she does that, or if she does that this year, I'll get you guys each one. Maybe you'll like it more. Maybe. Can you? I want that really bad. Please. <laughs> oh. I'll <laughs> kindly request it. Okay, going off the fall vibes, the crisp fall air in the morning is just <laughs> top tier. I'm so sorry. It just is. It just feels clean for whatever reason. There's no humidity mm. in it. It just is nice. You wake up because you're like, ooh, that's a little that's brisk. It's crisp. It's chilled. It's not the same as walking into, like, what feels like an oven in the middle of summer. Mm. And then in the winter, it's just way too cold. But that crisp fall morning air? Yeah. So top tier. Mm-hmm. Major in. I'm soaking in that those moments. Because in a month from now, it could be a different story. I could be like, okay, my face is freezing now. I'm over yeah. it. You sleep with your windows open? No. Oh. But, like, when I go out oh, in the morning out. to walk okay. bunnies or to catch the bus, like, I'm just outside in the morning still. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. My next in is Halloween Oreos. They're so good. The orange ones, they taste so good. They have like fun designs on them. There's like witches, oh. there's pumpkin, there's a spider web. They're so cute. I didn't know there was designs on yeah. them. And then you make a slutty brownie with the Oreos mm. that are orange. So delicious. I do remember the designs on them. Mm-hmm. And some people now, I, the slutty brownies I know are chocolate chip cookie dough, but people make them with the sugar cookies that have the Halloween designs on them. That could be good. Mm-hmm. I love a festive treat. I haven't had one of the, like a slutty brownie in forever. So good. Same. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of those the sugary. What are they called? Sugar right? cookies. Sugar cookie. Yeah. With the prints on them. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I can have like a couple. I used to eat those raw. <gasps> They're really? so good. I love them. I used to eat Pillsbury dough raw. <laughs> That's terrible, but I love it. <laughs> Confessions are coming out today. <laughs> My next in is when artists release live albums. <gasps> yes! Oh my god, yes. A million times yes. Who are you thinking of? Ariana Grande and Niall Horan. Wait! Niall just released one for his The Show tour, and Ariana Grande did her Sweetener tour oh. as a live album, and I didn't get tickets to her Sweetener tour, which I was so upset about afterwards, because she also performed the Thank You Next album. And so at least I get to like listen through it yeah. on, on Spotify. And it's like, oh my god, the vocals are so good. Yeah. Oh, also, Halsey has one that's really good too. I guess I never really listen to Halsey. <sighs> I'm, a, I'm a Halsey I stand. I love hearing the fans yelling in the back. And when they mm. change the songs up. Who are you thinking of? Noah Khan. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Unfortunately. Why I did I even ask? Right <laughs> you know who needs to release one though? <laughs> Harry Styles. Yeah, that's real. Bitch, where is it? You guys saw that whole thing about how Chris Olsen posted that there's a confirmed reunion yes. and then it was deleted? Wait, what? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. So, a one apparently direction? Zane's on tour now to practice. Yes, Get Zane's on here. tour! You know, it's already been sold out, right? It is. It's sold out like, instantly. I'm sick to my stomach. <laughs> wait, but that's interesting because I just saw... 
So Zayn is gonna re like reunite with the others? Allegedly. Allegedly. Wow. It's not officially confirmed, but apparently Harry told Chris Olsen that, and then he posted about also, it. Also, like, why would Harry be talking to Chris Olsen? Who is Chris Olsen? He's friends with Megan Trainer. Megan Trainer's like assistant, media man. <laughs> oh, I think I know what you're talking he about. Became, he's the one that like yeah. became famous for his therapy videos and whatnot on TikTok. He sings and dances too, right? I don't think he he's... has brown hair. Yeah, yeah sure, I don't brown think hair. he sings. Maybe he dances. He was just on Call Her Daddy. <laughs> Allegedly, One Direction reunion <laughs> is coming out, and bitch, I'm so ready. First of all, I'll fight anyone that I need to to get to get tickets. I still have my One Direction World receipt, okay, from like what 2012, 2013, and I have all my cups from there, so I can prove that I'm a hashtag verified fan. Ticketmaster, kiss my ass, give me the tickets. Thank you. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> we we just reached the directioners with that clip alone. <laughs> My next one is venue searching, and the goal for October is to book one. Mm. I already told them, but in real life, Alec and I have been looking. There's definitely one that we really like, but we're gonna, you know, we can't just pick the first one that we like and fall in love with. You know, we gotta like look around, see the vibes, just just in case. And if not, it validates what we feel about that first venue mm -hmm. and we can book it and be like, ah, uh, this is the place. Mm -hmm. So exciting. That's so exciting. I hope you book that one. It was no, me too. I guess I shouldn't say that. No, I Maybe. hope we book it too. I'm like, oh, we could top this. Yeah. That's within our budget that we have. Because yeah. obviously you could always do more if you've got more money, but we do have a budget to stick to. Mm -hmm. So... Mm -hmm. That would be so nice. My next in for October is repeating decorations. Because as a kid, the best part about a holiday was the same. You knew what decorations were coming out and you were counting down for them to come out. Like we had this skeleton that we put on my mailbox and I waited every year for that to come out. But now everyone's just buying things from home goods and then donating it at the end of the year. Really? Yeah. I want everything to be repeated. I want you to keep something forever, especially if you have kids or you are a kid. That's like the joy and that's the nostalgia. You're not going to have any memories if the decorations are always changing. Yeah. Yes. Period. I agree with that. I've noticed that like through social media, especially, it's become such a trend to switch up your decor year after year after year after year. And I'm like, why? Overconsumption, AF. Capitalism, AF. And for the sake of building memories, like, imagine having the same decorations for your kid between zero and ten yeah. and all your photos. You can just Aww. see them grow up year after year. Not that you're, you're still going to see them grow between the years, but if everything is constant in the background, it makes it that much more noticeable and that much more impactful. So I totally agree with that and stand with that. It applies for all the things. Christmas, yeah. Thanksgiving, ha Halloween valentine's day like whatever holidays you're celebrating keep the decor the same or at least the vibes because things break throughout the years and whatnot so like that's sad but i don't know i'm at least a crier something yeah. breaks i'll cry about it and be like <laughs> i was i feel like that just like unlocked so many <laughs> memories and thoughts in my head okay my next one is surprise visits with friends hmm. and i say this because last week we surprised one of our friends. And it was so exciting because it's like, oh. And, you know. Sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, what else can I say about that? <laughs> it's so wholesome. Yeah. I guess I'm up again. <sighs> I finally <laughs> caved and got that viral 62-inch tripod that everyone raves about on TikTok that's only like $10 finally got it it's quite literally arriving today when we're recording so next week i can give a more proper update but i was convinced solely for the reason that like it's a tripod slash selfie stick and it can hold either your phone or if you have a real camera i don't need to have because i have a tripod for my camera but it's like the old-fashioned photography tripods so assembling it to the heights is very annoying and it's not like super friendly. And then the other tripod I got was just for my phone, which I go back and forth between using my phone and my camera because I have a really nice camera, so I want to use that more. I just want the phone to be more of my backup. So I have one tripod that can just do both and it's super easy to use. 
10 out of 10. So I'm so excited. Haley also has it too. And hearing that you had it. I love it. Love it. I was like, okay, it's not just a TikTok promotion scam thing. Like it's just a good piece of equipment. Yeah. So you could put that type of camera or a phone on it. Mm-hmm. That's uh-huh. kind of crazy. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So yeah. I'm excited. My next in for October is waking up 30 minutes earlier. So this is just whenever your alarm is, wake up 30 minutes before that alarm. Because especially now that it's getting dark so quick and when you wake up, it's going to be dark again really soon. Mm -hmm. Having 30 extra minutes, first of all, it's not benefiting your sleep that much. 30 minutes in like the grand scheme of your whole sleep. And you can use that time to either relax and chill in your bed, wake up slowly instead of being rushed in the darkness, or... Make use of that time, make some tea, do some yoga, do a stretch, just literally sit up in your bed. Mm. It'll make you feel like you have more time in the morning and it's not something that's like waking up at 5 a.m. to change your life. Like it's just 30 minutes and you could take things slower and have a more peaceful morning. Mm -hmm. That sounds nice, actually. Waking up early is nice. I just naturally struggle to do that. It's nice when you're well rested. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can still be well rested and wake up early. You just yeah. have to go to bed earlier too. Yeah, but like when you wake up early and you have four hours of, like the dread, <laughs> you know that feel like it's just I can't even describe it. It's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, mm. Ooh. next in for me is it mine? Or is it yeah, I'm sorry. No, it's you. I'm so excited for this. It comes out tomorrow. Sally Rooney dropping a new book. Intermezzo. Do you have you guys ever read Sally Rooney? Nope. Come on. I don't think so. Normal She's not Melvin Flowers, oh, right? I read Normal People. Yeah. No. I Conversations did not. with Friends. Another good one. Hmm. She has another one. Yeah, really? She has a new Beautiful yeah. World. Where are you? Anyway. Mm. All good books. I cannot wait. This is so in for me. I'm looking forward to it. I so hope you much. like it. Report back. I will. It might be a while until I read it, but. <laughs> Baby steps. I'm excited for it. Oh. Yay. Next up, playing alongside the tripod, is there's also another vi- viral light that's going around on TikTok, and it's supposedly better than the Alex Earl light, and that was also only like $12, so I added it to cart with the tripod, and I think that arrives today. It might have been in a separate package, though, that's arriving sometime this week. So nonetheless, I'll report back, and maybe <laughs> on my Wait, are you buying this off TikTok? Yeah. Oh. That was my first TikTok shop order, so I got 10% off also. Well, okay. On top of these already pretty low, crazy prices. <laughs> so, love that for me. Amazing. I'll report back. Okay. My next in is Catherine O'Hara and Pluto TV. Catherine O'Hara, number one, icon of Beetlejuice, icon of Schitt's Creek, icon of Corpse Bride, oh. icon of Home Alone. There's nothing this woman cannot do, and she needs the respect <laughs> that she deserves. That's real. So real. And with that, because it's like movie, film idea, Pluto TV is amazing. That's a streaming service. It's a streaming service. It's free. There's an ad right at the beginning. And they have so many things. I've been using Pluto TV to watch Practical Magic nearly every day this month so far. But like they have a great selection of movies and it's all free. I didn't know it was free. You don't even have to give them an email. This sounds wow. like an ad. It's not. You just skip right through it and you ha- you get to watch whatever you want. You don't have to make a password? Nothing. That's wow. crazy. I need that. I hate making it's accounts. It's great. <laughs> and there's also like live cable streaming on it. Okay. Why does not every person use this? That's Period. What I'm saying. <laughs> why does anyone make the cable? <laughs> Pluto, please sponsor us. <laughs> oh my God. Amazing. That's crazy. Mm. I'll have to check that out. I have to tell my sister about that. She does not have cable. <laughs> I'm like, come on. <laughs> I don't have cable. Well, I know, but you have a lot of... Sh- like, she doesn't use any... I think she uses my dad's streaming service. Like, come on. Oh. No, we've got everything covered. Let's get on Pluto, everybody. <laughs> Next one up is knit sweater time, but we have... With a top underneath because it's still so hot <laughs> that you have to take it off probably. <laughs> Throughout the day. Just like, like, you might have to take it off during the middle of the day, but in the so morning, real. it's cute. Yeah. <laughs> Very cute. It's so hot during the midday. It really is. Unless you're in a corporate building and then you're freezing your butt off. So it's nice to have that sweater. You're like, mm. oh, yes, warmth. Give it to me. Yeah. Mm. So love that. Halloween parties are my next in. I'm going to a few this year and I'm so excited. It's not a college Halloween party. It's like house with your friends 
party vibes, and I'm so excited to enter that era mm. because that is where I would thrive. You can wear a real costume. You're not going to get too hot. You know everyone there. The food, the snacks, the drinks, all the vibe. A college frat party, there's no cute little snacks. There's no, no decor. <laughs> You're lucky if you can get a picture with your friends, okay? I'm just yeah. telling you how it is. So, house Halloween parties is where it's at. If you don't have any invites to go to one, host one yourself, okay? This is your sign. Hmm. <laughs> no good snacks at a frat party. <laughs> no good snacks at a frat party, okay? It's just not true. Unless, <laughs> unless you can find a person like me that's sitting there selling chocolate bars as a fundraiser. Yeah, well. I swear to God. You're like the kids in the subway that comes here with the fucking Hershey box. Nah, but the way that I sold my box out on one night, drunk college kids, unmatched. Do you have that memo? Yes, song. I do. Yes, I do. Here it is. <laughs> good job, I guess. Yeah, it was for sick kids, so. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah that's. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. My next in for October is getting emotionally attached out of state sales. <laughs> You I love <laughs> to walk through a house and just be like, oh, like a person lived here. It's so sweet. I think it's a way to honor their memory, even though they were a complete stranger. And like, this is the only way I would have ever met them. Mm -hmm. And now I get to see all their belongings and I get to give it a new home instead of it going in the dumpster. Yeah, that is nice. I love True. state sailing and I get so emotional every single one that I go to. Oh, yeah. You're really getting imagine. emotional talking yeah, no, about actually, it. Actually, though, imagine somebody walking through your room. <sighs> That's so sad. So sad. Yeah. <laughs> On a completely different note, my next thing is having a physical habit tracker. Mm. Shout out to, oh, I'm blanking on her name right now, but she made the sad to savage habit tracker on TikTok. Mm. Just like type it in and you'll find her. Okay. Love it. 10 out of 10. That's the third thing I'm expecting in my TikTok. Gina. TikTok <laughs> shop order. It was only those three things, okay? Altogether, it was $30. Not bad at all. Okay. Not bad at all. Not sponsored. <laughs> She's like, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited to go tracking, like, doing yoga, going on walks, drinking a good amount of water, all the things again. Because mm -hmm. since 75 Hard is done, I've slacked. <laughs> and I'm like, I need to get back on that. It was supposed to kick my lifestyle change off, and I think it just did, not that it did the opposite, but 75 hard was intense. I think I'd rather just focus on implementing habits that I want to actually maintain Yeah. versus being like, oh my god, I have to do two 45 minute workouts today. Because mm -hmm. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm <laughs> just energy. not. I'm saying, like, now that I'm not doing that, I'm yeah. like, I'm no, not. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I... It wasn't realistic to maintain, mm -hmm. but it was lot. good to shift the perspective yeah. and give a wake-up call, per se. So I appreciated it for what it was, but now it's like, okay, you need to maintain those good habits, so maintain them. Mm -hmm. That's that. My next in is a Bordeaux color polish. So I'm wearing Essie. It's literally called Bordeaux. Oh. But any kind of red wine shade nail polish obsessed with, I'm wearing Bordeaux right now gorgeous perfect fall color kind of like plummy not a bright bright red because i feel like that's more holiday but mm -hmm. like a deep plum love it that's a nice color yeah like the changing the leaves color yes it's such a classic fall color my next in is comforters like a bed comforter having a nice set mm -hmm. is just in i'll get into it when I go over my outs more so. Ooh, okay. okay. Yeah. I'm going to quickly go off my last two. First, the Mara Beauty bronzing stick. I've had this thing for at least a year. Still not even halfway through with it. But it blends so easily. It's so light. But it's still like you can tell that it's there. Amazing. Doesn't break me out. Mara is like such a great makeup brand. And then also tall boots and actually wearing them. Mm. I've never wanted to buy tall boots before because I know that I wouldn't wear them. But I feel like this year... There's so many cute ones out and like even the riding boot style. I yeah. really enjoy that. So I like I want to get a pair, but I'm making my if I do get a pair, I need to make myself wear yeah. them because I never think I don't know. I think too much about my outfit. I know what you mean. They pair well with a skinny boot or legging. Mm. You know, skinny those boots, boots skinny jeans. Like, they look super wide at the top. You would know it if I showed you a picture. Is of it, it like a sleeve almost? Kind of like I like those too, but it's just. A different boot that's why but i feel like my calves like it just mm -hmm. wouldn't hit the way it 
I'm on the side of TikTok should. that people measure their calves and then they say if it's like wide calf friendly. Oh, and then there's like brands oh. that do wide calf high boots. Yeah. Like Sam Edelman has an option for wider calves, mm-hmm. I know. Can you send us those videos? <laughs> maybe sure. I'll get, maybe I'll become a boot girl. Okay. Because remember, I'm not a boot girly out of the group. I love when people wear a long dress with a tall boot. Mm-hmm. But I, I just think it. that's something I don't think I could ever do. But you could. You'd look so cool. Just do it. You do it. <laughs> Let's just I'll all just do it. it. <laughs> no, we'll just all do it. Okay, that's it. Taking the plunge. My next in, hair bows. I think I've gone on this rant before, but oh my god, do I love a good hair bow. And that with overnight curls, instant perfect hair, instant getting compliments, instant you're giving it girl vibes. It's just 10 out of 10. Okay, moving on. Dancing with the Stars, season 33. Oh. I... I have to say, I don't know, premiere, I was like, ooh, I can definitely tell who's going to get voted off. Is that old man still there? They didn't vote anyone off last week. So when we're, by the time this episode's out, people have gotten voted off, but when we're recording, no one's gotten voted off yet, but I think he's going to go. No! I was watching his, unless he's got a strong fan base to keep pulling him through, I was like, like, I appreciate- He's doing his best. I know he was, but like, there's just- more talent out of the pool that they <laughs> you would have. Cry, Julia, if really? You saw the clip. Yeah, I was almost crying. He's but so I cried cool. How old is he? He's old. Is he like? He's so basically he mobile. Who is he dancing with? This is Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that you could just be a bad dancer. No. He's doing his best. <laughs> it's not that he's trying to be a bad. It's not that he's bad. He's just like he's when just you have his prime. Yeah, when you have a seventy-year-old versus a twenty-year-old, <laughs> clearly the twenty-year-old is going to go farther. Why would they do that? Don't do that to him. <laughs> it's rigged. It's rigged. I've I've seen the theories about people saying that it's like rigged from Steven's the start. Steven's gonna win. Is Charlie? She's not in this round. I don't think this so. year. I'm no. not really watching it. She was on season 31. Oh, okay. Did she win? Yeah. Oh, wow. But that's what Scam. I'm saying. I think it's rigged because mm-hmm. from her season, in my opinion, Gabby Windy should have won because she was a girl that had absolutely no dance experience, whereas Charlie grew up with dance experience. Yeah. yeah. And the point of the show is to take a non-dancer and turn them into a ballroom dancer. Granted, it was hard because they both ended up dancing beautifully by the end of it. And they actually both went on tour with the cast later that season, I guess, to, mm-hmm. like, go. So, like, that just spoke to how good of dancers they both truly became. And I just think Charlie won it because of the fan mm-hmm. fans that she has. She yeah. just had to have outnumbered the other girl. But that's where I feel like the judges should override it and be like, okay, but the whole premise of the show is a non-dancer to a dancer, and that's this girl, Gabby. I was 18, major in. I'm still learning features about it, but on your reminders list, it can connect to your calendar, and that's one of the productivity hacks that I needed. Thank you. Thank you, Apple, for finally doing something with the reminders, because I never used it once in my life. But the fact that it now links to my calendar, life-changing. I will now start to use that feature. So thank you. I don't know if I have. I don't. You didn't I thought upgrade? my phone did that up by it. itself. I uh, know. I think when it's like major like that, you have to like actually it okay looks different. it. different? Yeah. Not like a lot, oh. but like, yeah. I'll have you look around <laughs> my phone later. I to relearn. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do Ooh. it. <laughs> and anyways, last but not least. <sighs> definitely not least, okay? Queen Tate McRae. I call her Tate McSlay because she just slays <laughs> that hard. Oh my God. It's okay, I'm okay, bitch. You're gonna see me trying to learn that dance next, and I'm gonna try and probably not succeed, but I'm really gonna try to succeed because everyone looks so good when they do it, and she just popped off. So before we get into our outs, comment down below your ins or go to our Instagram slash TikTok and go on our reels that we posted and share your ins with us as well. Mm-hmm. We're dying to know, okay? Okay. To start off the outs, I'm very passionate about this one. My first out for October is acting like they didn't switch Marnie's actress in Halloween Town. <gasps> yes! Return to Halloween Town. Oh, they the main made character? Three Halloween Town movies with Kimberly, the regular Marnie, mm-hmm. and then in the fourth Halloween Town, it's Aquamarine all of yeah, a sudden. Yeah, I didn't yep. like that. I hate it. I don't like the last movie for that reason. I, it doesn't give the same it's energy. It's a great movie. It is really good if you <sighs> give it the time. But my question is, why 
I guess I could have Googled this. This The girl, Kimberly, the main Marnie, is, like, obsessed with Halloween Town. She still posts about it on her TikTok, so I don't know why they didn't hire her for the fourth movie. Mm-hmm. I know she would have done it. They were probably under undervaluing her. Or Honestly, maybe she got yeah. a better gig at the time or something. Maybe. Yeah, that's annoying. But that's, that pisses me off. Didn't Wizards of Waverly Place do that with um, the brother? No. Yes, they, yeah, they did. No. Guys, the brother. Remember he was <laughs> gone for, like... A whole season they put the girl there? Max? What? Wait, that was girl? one episode. Was it just one episode? <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen. JT Austin played Max and David yeah. Henry played Justin. But didn't the JT whole show. Austin like disappear? Did, for they one replaced episode. Max with the little girl. Yeah, I remember that episode, but I thought that she was there for longer than that. I, I don't remember know. being an episode. Or actually, you know what? Maybe it's that <laughs> other show he was in. You know the other show with the two adopted families? Oh, I never watched that show, but I know. It, I think, yes, he was in it. Or maybe he's no one's in it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Switching actors out. Yeah, but like, why would you do that mid-show? That's yeah, terrible. why would you do that? Acting like these kids aren't gonna know. Everyone knew. Everyone Not knew. Not that they should be trapped in a contract, but like, come on. <laughs> Just don't make the next movie, then. You made three! Yeah. Yeah. That's a crime. It is a crime. My first out, hearing about the secret lives of Mormon lives. <laughs> wow! Sorry, when you said it, I laughed because my classmates have been talking about it. I feel like everybody's talking about it. And maybe it's just because I'm not in the show to understand it. You gotta watch it. That is so funny. <laughs> no, you gotta watch it. <laughs> We're so connected. I had apple cider donuts being out. Really? You had Mormon wives being out. My first out, it connects back to comforters as my in. <laughs> Duvets are out. Rip the era. I'm so sad to even say it. I love my duvet and my duvet covers, but... <sighs> I like a duvet. Why? It's just so much easier to have a comforter. And to not have to store all the extra ones. Oh, it's just cleaning a comforter is so much work for me. Yeah. We've got a washer dryer in the apartment though. Yeah. Like I can bang that out in a day. My next out is keeping clothes you're never gonna wear. I have a problem with holding on to clothes. For example, this dress that I'm wearing right now, I've had this for maybe three or four years, first time I'm wearing it. But, like, I had a need for it, finally, yeah. so it's cool. And, like, I thrifted this from Goodwill. Like, it was probably 20 cents. But, in general, my closet is full of clothes that I never wear, but then I'm so, like, I don't know, scared to get rid of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, the moment I get rid of it is when I'm going to need it. Seriously. Always. All the time. But I just, I did a fall closet clean out and I got rid of a lot of clothes. I'm proud we of you. We have to find another way for you to wear this. I know. It's so cool, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Next up for me, tight shoelaces. This is, might be just very specific, like a sensory problem. <laughs> But you guys know what I'm talking about? Like, when I have a tight shoelace on, I can feel it all day. And I feel like now I've just been, I've been, like, pulling my things apart. And I just saw this study about, it's really with children. It's not even real. It's, like, like an Instagram shit. But they were saying how, like, children should not be wearing tight shoes in school. Oh. Because they said something about the feet being sensory and, like, you wiggle your toes, like, move and stuff while you're learning. And so I'm thinking, like, if that applies to kids, does that apply to me, too? Probably. Maybe. I don't know. That's but like I just when don't you like can't, being restricted. It's like when you can't think when you're wearing a tight outfit. Yeah. Like, you, I feel like all your thoughts just go to the uncomfortableness. Yeah. True. So. I feel you. <laughs> I feel. Blow-drying hair. For the same reason that heatless curls are in, blow-drying my hair is out. You will not catch me buying the Wavy Talk thermal brush. So TikTok, please, please, for the love of God, stop showing me all those videos. Every single girl's hair in those videos, it looks so beautiful. Do you think I'm going to sit here for 10 minutes and do that when I can just do heatless curls, go to bed and wake up like this? Are that hot brush? Yeah. Yeah, those You're loving and good. hating TikTok shop. <laughs> well, no, it's specifically just the Wavy Talk thermal brush. It's like every three to five videos, I see another girl using it. I just got pressed, is. not interested. Yeah, I do. Seeing this too much. I, she's not interested at all. Well, now that I mention it around you, you're going to start to yeah, see that. So. so just say not interested. <laughs> Leaving campus immediately as a commuter is my out. And I'll say this because... 
I ran into a few people that I found out go to the same college as me, had no idea. And they were like, oh, are you in any clubs? No. They said, oh, I'm in this club, this club, this club. Do you ever stay on campus? No. And I'm just thinking about all these Aww. missed opportunities. And it just kind of hit me. I mean, obviously, I know those are out there, but it's out, man. I got to yeah I cherish college life as a commuter who did nothing her first year and then got super involved second year and beyond it was the best thing i ever did that's how i made majority of my friends and the reason why college didn't suck mm. so do with that what you will yeah you could also argue that that's how i met my future husband yeah not clickbait alec and i were in greek life together and now we're engaged mm. my next out is apple picking nothing wrong with it i'm just over it at this point in my life i can get back <laughs> into it when i've got kids and that's an easy fall Aww. day to go out and do with them but for right now what am i gonna do go with my friends yeah no, no, wear I'd a rather cute do, outfit no i'd rather like go to the, the sunflower farm instead of apple picking what am i gonna do with all those apples anyway you think i'm over here baking apple pie and whatnot no I'm going to eat all those apples? No. You're going to make apple cider donuts. <laughs> yeah. No, because you don't even need real apples for that. You can just get the cider and, like, turn it into the donuts. What? That's oh. what they do. Jeez. I haven't gone apple picking probably over 10 years. What? Terrible, yeah. Okay, it hasn't been 10 years, but it's been some time for I me. I think I went two years ago. I think that's the last time I went, too. My sister said right now is great season for raspberry picking, and she's been going. <gasps> mm, that's that mean. should be fun. I want to try blueberry picking and strawberry picking, too. Mm. I've heard good things about that. But I think those are earlier in the year, not right now. Mm. But yeah, apple picking's out this year for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you like it, go do it. But <laughs> for me, you won't catch me there. My next out is forgetting your camera and not posting on your own account. I... Like, all of us have cameras, all of us sitting here, and I feel like whenever we go out, it's like, oh, I didn't bring my camera. Oh, that's the worst I'm feeling. speaking in general. Like, people, you have, you bought it for a reason because you wanted to take pictures. Stop leaving it at home. Just leave it in your purse. Leave it in your bag. Have it out. Have it ready. And take more pictures and post them on your account. <laughs> <laughs> like, your account is for you. Yeah. Just post. Why do you react that like that? Because I was just out with my friends on Thursday and my friend Nada took really good pictures of me. So, saw me again on Saturday and was like, Janina, you still haven't posted those pictures. Just when are you going to post the pictures? It's so quick. It's so easy. You don't even have to think twice about it. I know. I just, I'm going to, okay. So here's my dilemma. <laughs> It's either, like, I sit there and organize wedding planning things, or I sit there and I edit and post pictures slash videos. No, 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 no. Just pick one picture that you like and just post it. No editing, nothing. And you're done. Took 30 seconds and now go wedding plan. Easy. I'm scared. Mindless. Yeah, I guess social media is more lax these just, days. Just yeah. pick one that you like, heart it, post it. No editing, no drawings. Just put it up there. Okay. Period queen. Yeah. I took a nice picture of Emma and she didn't post it. I was offended. I was like, this is a beautiful picture. <laughs> oh, you know what's kind of sad, though? Speaking of fall nostalgia, my mom was the one that always took pictures of me growing up. So I feel like be I, I kind of looked at Alec and was like, you got to start taking pictures of me more. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, okay. But I was like, I never, like, took pictures of myself. That was always something my mom and I did. So now that I, like, don't live at home, there's no one to, like, just be like... You look nice today. Let's go outside and take some pictures. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. now it's up to me and my little tripod. <laughs> hey, but you just got it, so. Yeah. <laughs> True. Me and my tripod against the world. Yeah. Now. Next up, I have, and this is funny because this was in discussion too, paid subscriptions. Yeah. I just don't like having to pay for things. I really don't pay for anything, but like, <laughs> I want Quizlet. <laughs> like, I want Quizlet Premium, and I refuse because in my head, I've gone this far without using it. Mm. Why yeah. do I need it? But the day that I have to pay for Netflix and stuff like that, it's going to be a sad one. I already went on this rant, so I'll say it quickly and then say my next one. The TikTok shop ads for the Wavy Talk Thermal Brush. <laughs> yeah, title. <laughs> Get it off my For You page. Please. Yeah. You're not converting me. Just stop showing me the no, videos. It actually is really annoying. And then next up, because I already went on that rant, is... Spending money on lunch, aka eating out, just bring your own lunch. 
I'm a big fan of bringing my own lunch, but mm -hmm. I had been not like actually slacking, slacking, but like I got lunch out like three times in September and I was like, oh, I gotta relax. <laughs> what do I think <laughs> I am? Great. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's people that get lunch every single day. That's, oh my gosh. And mind you, I spent like $10, $15 and I was like, ah, it's the end of the world. Some people go out and spend like $30 on lunch every single day because I yeah. work in New York, so it's very easy to hit that price. And I'm just like, my wallet is crying. So it's my sign to me to make your lunch the night before, throw it in your bag in the morning, and you're good. Mm -hmm. No spending money. My next out is minimalism and sad beige decor. Mm. I think everyone's space should be full with things that they love and things that are, like, personal to them. Because yeah. what's the fun in living in a cubicle? Yes. No fun. Period. Yeah. I love when people have knickknacks. Me too. I love knickknacks. You guys know I'm a fan of knickknacks. My bookshelf is quite literally overflowing with knickknacks. Mm -hmm. In my room at home, you couldn't even see the wall because I just had things everywhere kind of killing me living in the apartment and having to compromise the space <laughs> and the designs because part of me just wants to be like oh, things everywhere but alec is like no let's not do that <laughs> we can't have the one direction poster up <laughs> yeah, literally <laughs> though very cut out <laughs> i'm like but it's my personality what do you mean <sighs> so i get that that's a good one yeah thank you sorority is wearing the same outfits mm. i don't like that what are your thoughts on that can I tell you the secret of why that happens? Sure. It's not really a secret. Everyone pitches in to buy the same shirt so that way they can wear it during recruitment. And that's really what happens. But not even the matching shirt. I'm saying like, I've seen sorority. Well, they will have, let's say, a matching tank top. But then they all have a long white skirt type of thing. Because it's always like a trendy outfit, you know, something yeah. cute. But why does every single person have that on? It's literally a dress code. That is Gosh. given to them by their recruitment yeah. person. I'm oh. telling you that's what it is. No, I believe I've, it. I've been through that. 100%, but I'm just saying, why? Like, it's the look. Yeah, I suppose. Like, sisterhood, having unison, but yeah. it's just there should of... be more variation. Okay, this is my last one. And it's out because the things are finally going to change and be way better. But stressing about work outside of work. Um, my job is hiring a manager and another person onto our team. Yay! So, like, my overwhelming to-do list will soon, like, be divvied about amongst two to three other people. Finally. Which, if you've known me, I've described my workload as it feels like I'm balancing the work of two to three people. So, to finally have the extra two people coming on staff, I just feel like there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Mm. I will be... Everything about my life is like will just be elevated. I won't be as stressed. It'll it'll be a good thing. Oh, yeah. that's great. Yeah, very good. That's nice. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. My final out for October is people making jokes and making light of this whole Diddy situation. Oh. The amount of baby oil jokes I've seen on TikTok and Instagram is upsetting and disturbing. This man is a monster. And, like, no one should be saying free Diddy. No. No one should Who be making jokes. The comment section of these posts is nuts. It's, like, not funny at all. And I hate it. I think it's a serious situation that needs to be taken seriously. That is disgusting. It's vile. I don't know how YouTube is slash Spotify is, but I'm just going to say the code word. SA is not funny at all, ever. Ever. And, like, if you think it is and that's the punchline of your joke or whatever, don't be my friend. Don't talk to me. Don't even yeah. breathe the same air as me. We are cut from completely two, diff do two different cloths. I do not like to associate with those kind of people. Mm, it's yeah. not funny at all. And especially so many people, unfortunately, have to go through that in life. And it's just so sad and unfortunate. Like, there's no way you can try to make that a funny thing ever. Yeah. People are chronically online. Yeah. And think they could just say anything. When you let a car go and they don't wave back. <laughs> <laughs> it's so rude. It's so rude. You know, when I was little, I used to think that my mom just knew everyone on the road oh. and that she was waving to them. <laughs> <laughs> I always wave. I feel like I'm waving actually too much sometimes. No, it's nice to wave. But I just can't. You know what? Somebody gave me a thumbs up the other day and I loved that. He Aww. stuck his hand out and he was like... Because I let him go. <laughs> that was real. Cute. That's nice. I guess I'll get my other ones. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I hate this. 
you know those YouTube debates and it's the conservative liberal are they debates? sitting in a chair yeah. in the middle? I, I get hate so mad. It. I hate watching those. I have to skip past it. It gets me mad every single time. Instead of it. that, watch people on YouTube interview random people on the street and go, who are you voting for, Trump or Harris? And just watch those videos instead. Those are a little bit better because you don't have to hear it. Yeah. You just get their answer and then it's on. Do you know what I pictured when you first said that, even though it's not what you're saying? What? When there used to be those President Duel rap videos. <laughs> Wait. Wait. I don't know if I know what that is. I it's- feel like I know what you're talking about, but I also, it's like just below the surface. It hasn't popped up yet fully. <laughs> I'll have to show you guys later. Okay. Yeah. It's so funny. That's all we have for this week's episode. We hope you guys liked our ins and outs. As always, comment them down below if you have any or if you disagree with ours, you agree with ours. We want to hear what you're thinking for the new month. Please give us a five-star rating wherever you are listening. And before you go, subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Neighbors Pod, and follow us on Instagram at the neighbors.pod and our TikTok at the neighbors pod. Okay? We'll see you next week. Don't go anywhere. Bye. Bye. Bye.